Hello everyone, welcome back. Till now we have learned how to create threads and somehow how to manage them as well. With today's topic we will have more control over how the threads will run with respect to each other. Today we will cover countdown latch. We will implement this concept for the scenario that we will be discussing today and the implementation will be simplest one which anyone can understand. Please check out the previous videos on multithreading in case you have missed any. Now without any further delay, let's start. Okay, so we will not start directly with the boring standard definition of countdown latch. Rather, let me try and explain it with a real life example. Now imagine you have a group of friends and you all want to go on a hike together. But before you start the hike, you want to make sure that everyone is ready and has their hiking gears on. Here is where countdown latch comes in. It's like a magical tool that helps you coordinate and wait for everyone to be ready before you start the hike. That is countdown latch will make sure that all the participants must reach a common goal or a progress before they can continue further. Like in our example, that common goal is that everyone should be ready with their hiking gears on. So once everyone says that they are ready, only then the hiking will start. Until then, others who are ready will have to wait for the non-ready friends. As per proper definition, countdown latch is a tool which is used to make sure that a task waits for other tasks to reach a common progress before they all can continue with their further processing. Now here are some scenarios in real life where you might use countdown latch. Before starting a multiplayer game, you want to ensure that all players have joined. You can use a countdown latch to wait for all players to be ready before beginning the game. The best examples are games like PUBG, Call of Duty, where players start and join the game in a common area. In those scenarios, the number of players that can play is fixed, it can be 50, 100 or any other number. Till those many players are not joined the game, all the joint players will have to stay in the common area and wait. As soon as the number of players hit that particular number, the game will automatically start. Also, in the program where multiple threads are doing different tasks, you may want to wait for all threads to finish their work before proceeding. Countdown latch can help synchronize the threads. This exact same scenario we will be implementing in today's video, where all friends should be ready before hiking can start. Also, when you have a task that can be divided into multiple subtasks that can run in parallel, you can use countdown latch to coordinate when all the subtasks are finished before combining their result. In some cases, you might be waiting for resources to become available before proceeding. For example, waiting for a database connection to be established before going ahead to query the data and processing it. In all these scenarios, countdown latch helps to ensure that all the necessary conditions are met before you move on to the next step. Just like making sure all your friends are ready before you start the hike. It's a handy tool for coordinating activities in your Java programs. Now let's understand how countdown latch works. First you need to create a countdown latch object and tell it how many friends needs to be ready. So let's say 5 friends other than you in our example. Now each friend when they are ready with their hiking gears they tell the countdown latch that they are ready by calling countdown method on it. That call of countdown method on countdown latch, it will decrement the count present in that latch. You, the organizer, wait for countdown latch to reach zero using a wait method. That means you won't start the hike until all of your friends have called countdown and the count of the latch reaches zero. Now let's try to create a Java program for the friend scenario who wants to go for hiking. At first, we will not implement any execution control and just see what is the issue and then we will try to solve it with different ways. Let me code first and then we will have a detailed code walkthrough.
Now we have main thread which we can consider as the organizer of hike and it has 5 friends who wants to go for hiking. Now in the beginning the organizer said let's go for hiking and after that in a loop all 5 friends starts getting ready. So I have added a variable sleep time to indicate the time taken by them to get ready. Once they are ready then they will shout ready with their names as well. And after that loop the organizer thread which is the main thread it will say let's start the hiking. Now let us just execute this code without any execution control and see if we are facing any issue. Now here we can see the organizer which is the main thread has started the hiking but none of the friends were ready at that point. Now we need to make sure we only start the hiking when all the friends are ready. If you remember in one of the previous videos to wait for a thread we have used join method. Let's try to use that particular method here and see if it is the solution that we are looking for in our problem. Here we are able to satisfy our requirement using join method that is now the hiking will only start once all the friends are ready. But do you see the problem here? Even though multiple threads are there but they are not running concurrently. All these friend threads are getting ready in a sequential way that is once friend 1 is ready only after that friend 2 will start getting ready. So this is not at all the solution we are looking for. We need all 5 friends to start getting ready concurrently which can be parallel or non-parallel depending on the CPU resources. Please do comment and let me know if you want me to cover parallel and concurrent topics in a separate video. Now back to the problem. In addition to running the friend threads concurrently, we also need to have some kind of shared countdown or shared resource so that when anyone who is ready can give a signal to that shared countdown to decrease its value. And once that countdown reaches zero, then the organizer thread, which is the main thread, can start the hike. This solution can be very easily implemented using countdown lag. Here we have created an object of countdown latch and we have provided the limit of latch as 5. Now inside the implementation of every friend thread, when they are ready, they call the countdown method on latch object. This will decrement the latch value by 1. Once all 5 friend threads are ready, they will call it 5 times which makes the latch value to 0. By the time friend threads are getting ready, the main thread which is the organizer of hike uses a wait method call on the latch and wait for the latch value to become 0. This will keep on waiting until the latch count reaches 0 and once the count reaches 0, the main thread will continue its execution which is to start the hike in this case. So in this way, a common goal of getting ready is achieved by all the participants before continuing further with their execution. Now let us execute and observe the output. Now you can see the friends are getting ready in parallel and hike is only getting started once all the friend threads are completed. This was one of the use case for countdown latch. We can also use countdown latch for one of our previous video scenarios as well where thread T2 and T3 they has to wait for thread T1 to complete the execution. I would recommend you all to try it on your own and in case you face any issue please feel free to comment in the video. 
If you found this video useful, please give us a like and also share it with your friends who wants to learn Java multi-threading in depth. Now similar to this countdown latch, there is one more such concept to control the flow of thread execution which is cyclic barrier. We will cover that topic in our next video. So thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video, till then keep learning.